Hello everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got uh, these questions right over here where we are going to apply the laws of indices. So for the first question here, we need to understand this property. It's under indices. In case you don't know, please keep this in your mind. So this property or this law says that when you've got A as a base and A, the bases are equal to each other. This simply means the powers are also equal to each other, regardless of how they look. So this is N, this is M. Provided the bases are the same, meaning the powers, regardless of how they look, they are also equal to each other. So this property is very important and is what I want to apply on this question so let me copy the question a so this is question a we shall say question a right here a so question a we've got 25 power x is equal to a 5 so how do we get to find the value of x we're going to use this property when you look at 25 here and a 5 are they equal to each other they are not so we have to do what we call balancing the bases. Here we're going to write a 5 power 2. So this is 5 power 2, which will give us a, a 25. And then here we shall put the bracket so that we don't forget the power, which is the power x. And then here we shall say equal to 5. Okay? So before we even apply this property, let's also look at another property. Another property looks like this. It says when you've got A power N power M, this simply means A is equal to, um, I mean, uh, this is equal to A power N power M. So you can multiply the powers, provided they are brackets like this, you can multiply this power times this power, and this is how they come out. So if we can see what we have here, it's called power to power. So you multiply the powers. This will be a 5 power 2x is equal to a 5. So you can see the bases are equal to each other. But we don't know the power which is here. What power do we have here? It's a power 1. Even here it's a power 1. We know, of course, that when we say 5 to the power 1, it will just give us a 5. It won't change anything. Therefore, we can say 2x is equal to a 1, applying uh, this property. When the bases are equal to each other, you can equate the powers, okay? So this is 2x equal to power 1. We divide by a 2, divide by a 2. This and this will go. The value of x will simply be equal to 1 over a 2. So we've answered question now. Uh, Question A. Please keep on watching. Now let's go to question uh, B and see what we're supposed to do on uh, question B right over here. So for question B, we also need to apply um, the property. So the same property that we had right here. So which says that uh, when you have A power N is equal to A power M, this simply means n is equal to m so we need this property and also the power property which says that when we put a power n the brackets power m this is equal to a power n m you multiply the powers it's needed right here question b we've got uh, of course a 2 2 power 2x minus 1 is equal to 16 power negative 2 x so we need to balance the bases so that we can apply this property this will simply be a 2 power 2 x minus 1 is equal to a 2 power 4 so 2 power 4 and then there is a power 2 x here we should not forget it so we can now apply the uh, this property this will be a 2 power 2x minus 1, which is equal to a 2. 
So power to power you multiply. This is a 4 times negative 2x. It's negative 8x. Now the bases are equal to each other. We can apply this property. We shall say 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 8x. We group the like terms. This is a 2x plus 8x is equal to a 1. So this guy comes this side. It's positive. It was negative. It's now positive. And then negative 1 also go, goes the other side. It's now positive 1. We shall have 10x is equal to a 1. When we add these two, divide by, uh, divide by a 10 and here by 10. So the value of x, let me write it here. The value of x will simply be equal to 1 over 10, which is uh, this one. So that's it. We can now go to our last question where we need to evaluate this one. So the question that we need to evaluate here, it's not uh, difficult. So there is also a property that you need to consider. So when you've got uh, A over B power M over N, this is the fraction rule. So for the fraction rule, the number which is on top means a uh, index or power so we shall call this as the power and then the number which is uh, down here it's a root okay so what i mean is uh, the way it is here it will be find the nth root of a over b and then you bring m as a power right there this is what it means now again if you're able to see this is a negative sign so what it means here, we're going to get what is inside, we reciprocate, okay? So what is inside the brackets will be flipped. So this one has been flipped because of the negative sign. It's now a positive sign. So now we can now find the cube root, okay, of 125 over 64. Okay, so the cube root here, we shall say the number that can multiply by itself three times and it gives us 125. That's a 5. And here it will be a 4. Because when you multiply this 4 by itself three times, you are getting a 64. Of which we can write our answer as 1, remainder 1 over a 4. So this is our answer. Thank you so much. Hopefully you've learned one or two things out of this video. Please remember to share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Tell more people about this YouTube channel. This has been Isichamba Jacob, and bye-bye.